The Chinese zodiac sign of the rabbit is discreet, intelligent and quick. When it comes to relationships, both friendly and romantic, rabbits are cautious and guarded. However, they are also friendly and gentle once they open up. But how compatible are rabbits with people from other zodiac signs in terms of friendly or romantic relationships? And which zodiac signs make the best soulmates for rabbits? Next, on Desire to Share. If you were born in the year of the rabbit, that is years such as 1939, 1951, 1963, 1975, 1987, 1999, 2011 or 2023, you dislike conflict and try to find compromise everywhere. But remember, this isn't always possible. Still, you shouldn't let disappointment make you melancholy or pessimistic. Rabbits give their love passionately and are loyal to the right zodiac signs. But which Chinese zodiac signs are compatible with them? Let's find out. The rat and the rabbit make a strange but compelling pair. The rabbit is shy and often overshadowed by the extroverted rat, but that doesn't really bother either of them. The rabbit is happy to make moves behind the scenes, while the rat occupies the center stage. The rabbit enjoys the many different friends that the rat brings home, and on the other hand, the rat adores the beautiful domestic environment that the rabbit creates. When the rabbit and the rat are together, they may become famous for their parties, and when they have a disagreement, the strong-willed rat will usually prevail. But despite this, the rat should be careful not to make the rabbit start resenting him, or otherwise, their relationship could suffer. As friends, the rat and the rabbit get along well. The rat appreciates the rabbit's brutal honesty but the rabbit is thankful for the rat's shrewd advice. Sometimes the rat will be dismayed by the rabbit's snobbery, while the rabbit will cringe at the rat's nasty temper. These two pals need to be kind and compassionate towards each other if their friendship is going to last. If one has to reprimand the other, they should keep in mind that a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. As far as sex is concerned, the rabbit and the rat enjoy playing master and servant. The timid rabbit will happily follow the rat's lead. Of course, the rat should take care not to push the rabbit into any activities that make them uncomfortable. A little consideration goes a long way in this relationship. If the rat works to protect the rabbit's fragile ego, the rabbit will lend its undying love and support. The rabbit and the ox make a lovely pair. The creative rabbit finds an appreciative audience in the beauty-loving ox. And in turn, the practical ox enjoys the touch of humor that the rabbit adds to life. At first, it may be a struggle for these two to get together as they are both notoriously shy. But hopefully, the no-nonsense ox will stop dragging its feet and ask the timid rabbit for a date. But after the first contact is made, these two will become inseparable. As friends, the rabbit and the ox get along beautifully. The flexible rabbits are always nearly willing to go along with the ox's plans, and this is mostly because the ox saves them time of making reservations and travel arrangements. On the other hand, the ox loves the rabbit's easygoing attitude. However, he should know that the rabbit loves the finer things in life and may not want to go to a place that is too grungy. Both the rabbit and the ox are extremely loyal. The two can count on each other during times of trial, and furthermore, they will never forget each other's birthdays, anniversaries, and special achievements. When it comes to making love, this couple gets along extremely well, 
provided they have a secluded retreat from the cold, cruel world. Fortunately, the two creatures enjoy the comforts of home and will spend many hours making love in the privacy of their own bedroom. Of course, their sex life won't be terribly heated as the rabbit and the ox are reserved. But still, their bedroom encounters will be loving, sweet, and satisfying for both parties. The rabbit and the tiger are a pairing of opposites. The rabbit is quiet and understated, while the tiger is loud and brash. The rabbit prefers to live modestly, while the tiger needs to live large. While the rabbit will be flattered by the tiger's warm attentions, the bunny could wither beneath the big cat's legendary temper. If the tiger remembers to tread lightly with their timid lover, there's a chance that this romance will work. In return for the tiger's consideration, the rabbit will be happy to attend to their partner's wants and needs. When it comes to forming a friendship, these two can bring a lot to each other's lives. The rabbit can help to refine the tiger's tastes, while the tiger can bolster the rabbit's ego. The truthful rabbit won't be afraid to tell their pal that zebra stripes clash with leopard spots, and the tiger will convince the rabbit to enter its latest designs into a fashion competition. The frugal rabbit should guard against lending the careless tiger money, as this could drive an impenetrable wedge into their friendship. Sexually, the rabbit and the tiger make an interesting combination. The shy rabbit may be both thrilled and terrified by the tiger's passion, and the tiger will be enchanted by the rabbit's delicate modesty. If the tiger puts the rabbit on a pedestal, the rabbit will loosen up and have a good time. Basically, the tiger needs to treat the rabbit like a delicate flower that needs to be nurtured and pampered in order to sexually thrive. Two rabbits form a mutual admiration society that is tasteful and exclusive. Although the rabbit is notoriously shy, the two of them find it easy to flirt and talk with each other. Both adore the finer things in life and will pour most of their energies into creating a gorgeous home filled with beautiful furnishings and artwork. Two rabbits won't have much trouble making money as their creative talents will yield a pair of handsome salaries. But no matter how well off they are, they will constantly worry about money. Therefore, it's probably a good idea for these two to meet regularly with an accountant who can put their financial anxieties at ease. If a pair of rabbits form a friendship, they have to take care not to feed each other's fears. Rabbits are notoriously pessimistic and must work to adopt a more positive outlook. When one rabbit frets about the job market, the other needs to dispel their doubts and not sympathize about the lousy economy. Blessed with considerable artistic talent, these two can collaborate on some impressive projects together. As far as sex is concerned, two bunnies get along like a house on fire. They both like to concentrate on foreplay rather than intercourse. Kisses, cuddles, and caresses comprise a large part of this couple's bedroom repertoire. They also adore holding each other in the afterglow of sex and will enjoy raiding the kitchen for sweets after they've burned off a few thousand calories together. But having sex outdoors is not for the rabbits. Instead, they prefer making love in a five-star hotel room. The shy rabbit and the flamboyant dragon make a strange pair. The rabbit prefers to stay home with friends and family, while the dragon wants to party the night away at some swanky nightclub or disco. But when these two reunite and crawl into bed together, something magical happens. They'll discuss their respective days and listen attentively to each other's hopes, fears, and desires. The rabbit will advise the dragon to be more tactful with their customers while the dragon will offer to lean on their lover's deadbeat clients. As friends, 
The rabbit and the dragon can bring a great deal to each other. The rabbit can show the dragon that you can sometimes catch more flies with honey than vinegar. And on the other hand, the dragon will help the scatterbrained rabbit to get organized. Yes, the refined rabbit will sometimes find the dragon to be quite vulgar, while the dragon will think that the rabbit is too fussy. But for the most part, these two celebrate each other's strengths and downplay their deficiencies. Sexually, the rabbit and the dragon are in a natural heat. Rabbits need to recognize and articulate their sexual needs because dragons won't perceive them. On the other hand, dragons need to train their wandering eyes squarely on the rabbit as the rabbit won't tolerate any infidelity. The artistic rabbits need to remember that dragons express their creativity in the bedroom. This means that the rabbit should be prepared for some imaginative spins on some time-honored techniques. And on the other hand, the dragon should know that the rabbit is extremely self-conscious and may benefit from gifts like beautiful lingerie and silk pajamas. The rabbit and the snake are intuitively drawn to each other. The refined rabbit admires the snake's charm while the philosophical snake appreciates the rabbit's sharp intelligence. While the rabbit doesn't understand the snake's desire to be the center of attention, the rabbit is gently amused by it. What concerns the rabbit, however, is the snake's desire for spending money. While the rabbit shares the snake's love for beauty, he or she worries constantly about going broke. These lovers will have to hammer out a budget if they are going to stand the test of time. As far as friendship is concerned, the rabbit and the snake hit it off famously. They share a love of intellectual pursuits and may meet each other at a chess club, book group, or lecture series. The two will often swap book and movie recommendations and might even decide to collaborate on a writing project. The rabbit and the snake can have fun shopping, with the rabbit deliberating carefully over merchandise and the snake piling their cut high with everything that catches their fancy. With regards to sex, the rabbit and the snake have lots of chemistry. The shy rabbit can't help but yield to the snake's seductive ways. And the psychic snake is able to hone in on the rabbit's desires, resulting in a mutual explosion of ecstasy. The snake is one of the few lovers with whom the rabbit can feel completely uninhibited. The snake finds the rabbit's modesty a real turn on. A union between a rabbit and a horse requires a lot of work. The laid-back rabbit can't comprehend the passionate horse, and the outspoken horse is bewildered by the reserved rabbit. Fortunately, the rabbit is very compassionate and will work to find common bonds with the horse. Both of these animals are very pragmatic and won't stand for a lot of nonsense. The rabbit always finds the quickest distance between two points and the horse perpetually discovers how to profit from this efficiency. Together, they can make a great deal of money, but the rabbit will have difficulty spending it while the horse will indulge in frequent shopping sprees. These two animals can have difficulty forming a friendship too. The rabbit will feel hurt when a careless horse forgets their birthday, while the horse will wonder why the rabbit makes a mountain out of such a molehill. The horse is also bewildered by the rabbit's lazy ways, while the rabbit thinks the horse is crazy for working night and day. Hopefully, the rabbit will show the horse the value of slowing down and smelling the flowers. And meanwhile, the horse can show the rabbit how to showcase their considerable creative talent. Sexually, the horse and the rabbit don't have much in common. The rabbit likes to be wined and dined before being taken to bed while the horse just wants to cut to the chase. If the horse is smart, he will listen to the rabbit's tips on becoming more romantic. On the other hand, the rabbit can become more sexually impulsive with the help of the horse.
This is one of those fated connections that is almost guaranteed to end up in a serious commitment. The artistic rabbit feels an immediate bond with the dreamy goat, while the easygoing goat loves the rabbit's ability to kick back and relax. Of course the rabbit's methodical ways don't sit well with the disorganized goat, but the goat is willing to overlook them. That's because the rabbit is so romantic. The goat can put up with the color-coded closets for the sake of champagne and chocolates. With regard to friendship, the rabbit and the goat make an equally compatible pair. The rabbit is the more focused of the two that can help the goat develop their creative talents. And in return, the goat will put the rabbit in contact with people who can advance their personal and professional lives. The goat is notoriously lucky when it comes to finding golden opportunities and isn't afraid to share this wealth with their loved ones. At times, the rabbit will find the goat hopelessly helpless, while the goat will think the rabbit is a nagging bull. But for the most part, these two animals hit it off extremely well. In terms of sex, the rabbit and the goat make a compatible pair. Both lovers are able to blend passion with tenderness, and onlookers may feel slightly sickened by all the sweet talks that is exchanged between the two animals. However, the rabbit and the goat will be oblivious of these tears of disgust. As far as they are concerned, they are the only two people in the world who matter. Everyone else can go and jump in the lake. The rabbit and the monkey have a meeting of the minds. These two intellectuals admire each other's capacity to analyze facts and distill information. While the rabbit is a more creative thinker, the monkey has a better grasp of the facts. The two love exchanging flirtatious remarks at a party and spend a long time on the courtship phase of their romance. Of course, the quiet rabbit will sometimes despair that the monkey will never shut up, and the monkey will tire of teasing information out of the quiet rabbit. But for the most part, these two get along well. As friends, the rabbit and the monkey have lots of fun. The rabbit likes to give the monkey decorating and fashion tips, while the monkey will take the rabbit to some rollicking parties. Normally the shy rabbit doesn't like mixing with a large group of people, but she feels comfortable in the capable hands of the monkey. Neither the monkey nor the rabbit is particularly organized, and as a result, may waste lots of their time trying to coordinate their schedules. These two should probably steer clear of doing business together, as neither is very practical about money. With regard to sex, the rabbit and the monkey need to alter their approaches to suit the other. For example, the rabbit should be more imaginative about their techniques in order to maintain the monkey's interest. And the monkey needs to slow down the pace, or else the rabbit will be left unfulfilled. It takes a long time for the rabbit to warm up to someone's affections, but once they do, the result is pure bliss. Romantically, the rabbit and the rooster face lots of challenges. The tasteful rabbit is appalled by the rooster's brush behavior, but the forthright rooster thinks the rabbit is a real prude. The rabbit wants to create a beautiful home, but the rooster prefers to live out of her suitcase. Fortunately, the seeming opposites share a serial quirk ethic and do appreciate each other's ability to spin straw into gold. Also, the rabbit and the rooster possess fine minds and can have lots of fun discussing books, movies, and politics. As far as friendship is concerned, the rabbit and the rooster can form a bond provided each is patient with the other. The rabbit doesn't appreciate being shouted down by the rooster. If the rabbit can overcome their shyness and stand in their own defense, they'll win the respect of the rooster. And on the other hand, the rooster has to deal with the rabbit's ever-changing moods. When these two animals stop being defensive, the rabbit will help the rooster become more open-minded, or the rooster will assist the rabbit in getting organized. 
Sexually, the rabbit and the rooster make an uncomfortable pair. The rabbit's refined taste could be offended by the rooster's heavy-handed approach. Meanwhile, the rooster can get tired of placating the rabbit's fears. All the bad ones is a satisfying role in the hay. The rabbit will have to summon the aggressive side when pairing with the rooster, but the rooster will have to cultivate sensitivity. The best thing about these two is that they are devoted lovers, so infidelity shouldn't be a problem. The rabbit and the dog make a sweet pair. The rabbit dreams of making a happy home and the dog is committed to making this wish come true. The dog will work to make a safe haven for the rabbit and the rabbit will lavish the dog with love and affection as thanks. Of course, every relationship has its flaws. With this one, it's about the rabbit's insistence on doing things quickly and efficiently even at the risk of ignoring the law. The virtuous dog refuses to cut corners and can badger the rabbit for playing fast and loose with the rules. When this happens, the rabbit should promise to play fair as long as the dog vows to stop nagging. It's a happy compromise that can work. When it comes to friendship, the rabbit and the dog get along very well, but they need to be aware of dragging each other down. Both animals have a tendency towards pessimism and this can really put a damper on their bond. When rabbits start to worry about money, the dog needs to remind them that the best things in life are free. If the dog starts fretting about the environment, the rabbit must stress the human race's ingenuity at solving problems. By acting as a counterbalance to each other's worst fears, the rabbit and the dog can enjoy a lifelong friendship. As far as sex is concerned, the rabbit and the dog are destined to hit it off perfectly well. The rabbit is touched by the dog's attentiveness and the dog likes the rabbit's capacity for emotional intimacy. Sometimes, rabbits will find the dog's approach a tad predictable, while the dog may be bored with the rabbit's preoccupation with its looks. But for the most part, they'll have many blissful days and nights in bed. The rabbit and the pig are a match made in heaven. The rabbit adores the pig's sweet nature and the pig admires the rabbit's vivid imagination. It also helps that these two are homebodies. Some of their best times will be spent shopping for furniture and artwork for their beautiful abode. These two signs will also have fun throwing parties, although the rabbit may spend the entire time making delicacies in the kitchen while the pig mixes and mingles with the army of friends. But fortunately, this is an arrangement that they both enjoy. As friends, the rabbit and the pig are equally suited. Both are loving and forgiving and may never argue for the duration of their friendship. The rabbit loves the pig's generous nature and is often the recipient of his or her beautiful cast-offs. On the other hand, the pig is touched by the rabbit's sensitive nature and works to bolster their pal's ego. The rabbit may be tired of the pig's messiness, while the pig will despair of the rabbit's prissiness. But neither of them will complain to the other, believing it's better to overlook the flaws in their friendship. After all, nobody is perfect. Sexually, the rabbit and the pig work wonderfully well. The rabbit feels safe in the pig's calm presence and can reach heights of passion that never imagined with this lover. On the other hand, the pig loves putting the rabbit in touch with their sensual side and is excited to put their lover's ideas into practice. Loyal and tender, these two lovers will stand the test of time. In general, people in Chinese zodiac rabbit sign should go together with people in sheep, monkey, dog and pig signs. However, rabbits should avoid people in the snake or rooster signs. Rabbits and sheep are born to be a couple. They'll be attracted to each other at first glance 
and love makes them become more confident and brilliant. These two can make something together. Monkeys can bring passion and enthusiasm to the life of rabbits, and this is exactly what rabbits lack. When rabbits hook up together with monkeys, they can discover the best part of life together. When it comes to rabbits and dogs, one is honest and the other is loyal. The two can lead a smooth and harmonious life and also create a better off financial status. Rabbits and pigs are also well matched. They both want to live a normal but sweet life and can tolerate each other's weaknesses. Understanding and support enables their relationship to go smoothly. A rabbit and an ox are a complementary match. Their personality is complementary since one is quick-tempered and the other is calm and patient. One likes to take all the burdens on the shoulder while the other gets used to relying on people. If a rabbit gets together with an ox, the two will make a happy couple. Rabbits and tigers have different interests and hobbies, but they give space to each other. When meeting difficulties, they can face and solve them together. If they try to find something in common, they will become more intimate. A rabbit and a rabbit can have a happy marriage, but they will need to abandon their childish thoughts and become mature enough to take responsibilities. If both of them can learn to think for others, they will have a happy ending. Rabbits and dragons can fight for a better life together and they are willing to take the responsibility for the family, but they sometimes may be bothered by trifles. Therefore, they need to be more tolerant if their relationship is to work. A horse is also an acceptable match for a rabbit. A rabbit and a horse appreciate each other in many aspects and their life is imbued with passion and care. Their loyalty allows them to have a happy ending. If rabbits are looking for an intimate friend, they will find one in a rat. The two are frank with each other and will happily share secrets. Both of them are popular in social activities. They love themselves more than they love each other so they can become intimate friends but not lovers. Rabbits and snakes are quite picky on each other and cannot tolerate financial shortage and this can shatter their relationship easily. Coming to roosters, the birds are strict to every trife in life, and both the rooster and the rabbit like complaining, which makes their love fade away. The two always feel anxious in relationships and are not a compatible couple. When it comes to compatibility, the perfect matches for rabbits are sheep, monkey, dog, and pig. For a complementary match, the rabbit should go with an ox, and for acceptable matches, we have the tiger, other rabbits, dragon, and horse. For intimate friendships, rabbits should look for rats, and the worst compatible signs for rabbits are snakes and roosters. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to learn more about your zodiac compatibility, click the link in the description section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get notified when you post new content.